Hello all and welcome back to the channel. Today is a special video because Luminar has asked me to give you the latest update, which is the availability of the Luminar app on iPhone. So you can now use it on iPhone, iPad or Apple Vision Pro. If you've never used it before, it's a powerful on-the-go editor that you can use on all three platforms. And the purpose of the video today is to show you what it's gonna look like on iPhone. Let's start off as if you've just downloaded the app and are about to launch it for the first time. So the first thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna install the app and you're gonna be greeted by the welcome screen. It's gonna take you through a couple of steps and show you the features, which include enhance, smooth, shape, remove imperfection, style, relight, sky, and so on. Then you'll go to sign in and be taken to the main menu in which you would select your first photo for editing. Once you've selected the picture that you're gonna edit, you'll see that the structure of the app is very intuitive and works with quite a logical flow. In the main interface, we will have a back button, which will basically take you back to choose another image. Undo and redo, which is extremely handy for when editing. Next is the three dots encircled, which is settings. And in that you will find your account details and so on. But importantly, you'll see something called sound and then haptic feedback. If you don't know what haptic feedback is, it basically uses the vibrations on your phone when it recognizes a change or a tap. And this is extremely useful for editing because when you make an adjustment and it does vibrate, you know that that change has been registered, especially when using your thumb or you can't see the adjustments. So you can see that this can be extremely valuable to know that the small degree of adjustment that you've just made has been registered when you get that little vibration. Next is share. And in share, the first thing that you'll see is the photo information. You can also save the photos directly onto your phone, but also share directly to social media. The bottom menu is where we get to business and starting from left to right, we have the crop and orientation, the eraser or smart eraser, the main editing dial, the different skies that you can apply as well as LUTs. Let's take you through a typical edit. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to choose a picture and we're going to go into crop. Now we can set this either manually or we can set this for your different social media applications, i.e. Instagram or Facebook. There are other abilities in this menu, such as Lock Horizon. This is maybe if you've tilted it a little bit to the left or the right, as well as other features like Flip and Invert. Next is the eraser, and this does take a little bit of practice, but you can see how I can erase a whole tree from covering a mountain or remove power lines. Now this can be used in multiple different ways for multiple different removals. Next is the main editing function, which has got a lot to it. So we're gonna come back to that now, but you can see next to that, we have got something called sky, where you literally able to change your entire sky to clear skies, overcast, or even lightning storms. You can also bring in your own skies and save those for future edits. Lastly, we have LUTs, which are quick, easy presets for fast results and sharing. The main dial with its many applications offer finer adjustments and details. It has many technical adjustments like develop, but also easy to use functions like contrast, color, saturation, vibrance, and vignette. Most importantly, it has powerful AI tools like the overall AI editor, which you can literally adjust with a dial, AI structuring adjustments, and last but not least, AI lighting. Then, especially for the selfie kings and queens, there is skin AI to smooth out skin, as well as body AI to shape you or shape your subjects. Through the iPhone app, you can have almost all of the functionality available on the full PC app, but in the palm of your hands. There are so many functions that I simply could not cover in this video, and there are more functionalities to come. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to either myself or the Luminar team, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers, guys. Goodbye.